Our preliminary investigation determined on October 22nd at approximately 10.21 a.m. 30-year-old Nestor Hernandez arrived at Methodist Dallas Medical Center to see a patient in labor and delivery. During that visit, the suspect pulled a handgun from his pants and hit the patient in the head multiple times. After the assault, a hospital employee, 45-year-old Jacqueline Pakua, came into the room to provide routine services to the patient. As Pakua was attending to the patient, the suspect stood up, moved to the employee, and shot her once. Methodist Medical System Sergeant Robert Rangel was just a few doors down investigating a stolen property call when he and hospital staff heard what appeared to be a gunshot in the nearby room. Another hospital employee, Katie Flowers, 63, heard the shot fired, looked into the room, and the suspect fired again from the doorway, striking Flowers in the hallway. Sergeant Rangel witnessed the second employee being shot and took cover and called for help on his radio. The investigation shows Hernandez reportedly reloaded his weapon and started to leave the room, still armed with his gun. Sergeant Rangel fired one shot from his department issued weapon and hit the suspect in the leg. Hernandez went back into the room after being shot and after a standoff with police, he was taken into custody. Tragically, both hospital employees died from their injuries. There were Dallas police officers at the hospital who helped with taking the suspect into custody. The patient assaulted by Hernandez prior to the shooting was treated for their injuries. The newborn child in the room at the time, there was a newborn child in the room at the time, but was not injured. Hernandez was treated at Methodist Hospital and later moved to another hospital for further treatment. He has been charged with capital murder. Both the officer involved shooting and homicide investigations are ongoing. The focus here today, of course, should be on the lives lost. On Saturday, we lost two healthcare workers who were going about their day caring for others. But as I stated publicly before, and I know you're gonna ask it, in my opinion, this is a failure of our criminal justice system. A violent individual such as this should not have been on ankle monitor and should have remained in custody. Hernandez has a criminal history included aggravated assault of a public servant, burglary of habitation, and aggravated robbery. He was sentenced to eight years for aggravated robbery, serving six years before he was released on parole in October of 2021. In March of 22, he was arrested for parole violation. Then in April, released to his parole officer. In June, he was arrested by Carrollton police for parole violation. He was then held in county jail and then given to the custody of TDCJ and released in September 22 with an ankle monitor. He was wearing an ankle monitor at the time of the incident. Our thoughts are with the family and friends of the hospital employees who lost their lives and the Methodist Dallas Medical Center staff who also lost members of their family. I would like to take a moment to discuss the actions of Sergeant Rangel on Saturday. There is no doubt that his actions that day saved lives. By stopping the suspect from leaving the room, there was no further loss of life. Sergeant Rangel remained engaged, created a rapport with the suspect, constantly communicating with the suspect and the patient inside the room throughout the barricade situation. Ultimately, the suspect did surrender and was taken into custody by law enforcement. While we continue to investigate the shooting, I want to commend Sergeant Rangel for protecting staff, patients, and newborns who remained on that floor that day.